Okay, this is just a little video showing how the Nostromo can greatly increase productivity in SketchUp. Um, each of these keys is fully programmable, but not only those, if you go to the side view, there's also one, two thumb buttons with a four directional thumb joystick keypad, whatever. Um, so I have those programmed. Uh, this thumb button is programmed to my alternate key map. So when I press this button, it will switch to key map number two. You can see key map number one, number two, and they're programmed to things that are totally different. So when I press this button, it switches it to key map number two. When I release it, it'll switch it back to key map number one. So all I have to do is hold that button, hit whatever key I want on the second key map, and release it, and it automatically switches back. Um, and I will demonstrate. Right now I'm pressing thumb button, release, hold, release. Um, so that just does a whole lot for productivity. Uh, some of the most commonly used measurements I like to keep, uh, I like to set as macros. For example, when I hold key map, the thumb button to go to key map number two and press this key, it will automatically type 3.5 inches enter. So let's say I've got a wall. And I use a thumb button to push pull. The thumb button is on the joystick, as you can see right here. Forward is push pull, down is move back is undo, up is space, which is select. So forward thumb joystick, pull up, and I want to pull that up eight feet. Because that would be the height of my wall. I don't have a macro for eight feet, so let me set one really quickly. Go to macros, That's at 3.5, but I didn't do it correctly, and I already have a 3.5 inch macro. Let me set a new macro, number two. Rename this to eight feet. No delay, and start recording. When I click record, then I can type whatever I want. So I will do eight, apostrophe, enter, and stop recording. Now if I take this, 8 foot macro and assign it to key mac number 2 I will assign it to this one macro assign macro 8 foot there we go and save that and it will play back one time so it'll just do it one time you can do multiple times continue as toggle and it'll play it as long as I have it pressed but I just want it to play once so let's come back to the drawing. You always have to reset it to key map number one. Okay, so let me back thumb button to undo that. Push pull up. Now watch the watch the uh, Nostromo. I will hold the thumb button to key, key map number two and press eight. There, it typed in eight feet. Enter. So then I will use my standard. F to offset. Key map number two, I'm holding the thumb button and I'm going to press number uh, 12, which is the bottom left hand green one that you see on the Nostromo. So when I press that, it will type in 3.5 inches and hit enter. I want to push pull this down and I'm just going to hold that thumb button, hit 8 again, push pull it down 8. So those are just some of the uh, some of the more common functions that I use. Uh, oh, that's set to nine. I sh really should set a new key map to that one for nine feet. No delay, record, nine apostrophe. Enter, stop recording. Go to keypad. Set that to macro, 
9 feet. Now I can make 9 foot walls. Uh, so on key map number 2 I've got guidelines and delete guidelines. I don't remember what G is. I'd have to look. I don't use that one a lot. 8 foot, 9 foot, 3 and a half. Shift control. That is redo. If I've just undone something and I want it again, just hit that one key and it redoes it. 